All right, everybody, welcome back to the Benzinga FinTech Awards, where we're trying to find the most innovative companies and products that are helping you make money, either saving money, create wealth through the markets, whatnot. And up next on the docket for our interviews, we have Digital Insight and their VP of Product, Jose Resendez. How's it going, Jose? Great. Thanks. Glad to have you here, dude. Now, you and I had a nice conversation um, uh, as I kind of got to uh, get to know the company a little bit better. Can you give everyone that doesn't know Digital Insight an idea of what your company is and does? Sure, Kyle. Um, so digital banking builds uh, online banking and mobile banking applications and solutions for credit unions and banks uh, throughout the United States. And the intent behind it is that we're studying an end user's behavior and needs and building solutions to help them save money to to help them pay out their debt, uh, solve those key financial pain points that they may have, but do it through the financial institution where the financial institution is providing those apps, um, but we're building them on their behalf. So a little more background of the company. You know, how many employees were you guys located at? Um, how long have you guys been around? How long have you been building product? Sure. Digital Insight has been around since the late 90s. Uh, we have about 600 employees. Uh, we're based, our headquarters is based out of the Bay Area in uh, Redwood City in California. Uh, we recently were acquired, um, actually almost a year ago now, by NCR Corporation, which is a much larger uh, company that's worldwide. Um, and uh, the benefit of this is NCR uh, also creates solutions for the financial services space, but also does it for retail and hospitality. Um, so Digital Insight, uh, ourselves and our customers can benefit from inspiration that we may get from other industries as we build innovative solutions for consumers on the financial management side. All right, before we dive into exactly what you guys are doing that's so innovative, I love this competition. We have 100 companies or so in, um, in it, but we have companies that are just starting off with four employees and companies like Digital Insight that are, are obviously to a mature stage and um, past that you know initial product fit growth stage how does a company like digital insight stay innovative I, I read something on the site as I was poking around and it said hey want to see what's next want to see what we're doing next for you click here and I thought that was yeah. really cool in the sense that a big company can still stay flexible enough uh, to meet customers needs and solve customers problems to make a money how is digital insight continue to, uh, continue to do that yeah uh, Kyle, I think it has to do with the culture and the mindset that you instill in the employee base and in the company as a whole. So, so from our perspective, um, the way we approach our day-to-day -day work is very much end user back. Uh, we spend a lot of time actually observing end users versus, say, surveying them or, or doing uh, uh, brainstormings just within the, the locked walls of our office. We're out on the field a lot. I'm out on the field a lot with our customers, uh, sitting in branches, uh, listening to calls on a call center, actually talking to real-life people that are telling me about uh, the challenges that they're facing or the great things that they have achieved uh, from a financial perspective and out of that identifying areas where there may be specific pain points or problems to solve. Uh, then the other aspect is um, we eliminate all the bureaucracy that maybe a large company may have of getting a project started by really following this principle of um, rapidly experimenting and rapidly getting something in the hands of an end user to test and to give us feedback. Um, that may mean that we minimize the scope of a specific project to a very small use case and get it out the door. Recently, we just did a test with beacons um, so that we can use geolocation of an end user when they're walking into the branch and provide them better service. Uh, the financial institution can provide them better service. We did some surveys, and we ended up saying, you know, uh, let's go out and just get this out the door as quickly as possible uh, with a smaller scope, um, and ended up learning way more than what we found out through the service. But again, it has to do with being in the field, understanding your, your customers' needs firsthand, and rapidly getting something out the door to experiment and test. And that's part of how we approach our work uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. So it really goes back to the, the culture and the mindset, I think, of the company. <laughs> Yeah, I like that you say the culture because one of the core values here at Benzinga is obsessed with your customer, not your competitors. So really like to hear that from a, a bigger company that it seems like they still are innovating the space. Now let's talk about what the innovation is and how it's helping you know, everyone watching this interview right now. Um, what are you guys doing and what have you done that has um, really changed the space and continues to push forward for that change? Yeah, there's a few things. that Let, let me start off by saying that uh, one of the biggest things that I think that we've done and that we, we can continue to do is 
It's making experiences much easier uh, for people. Uh, that goes to simplifying the overall user interface that a, that a user may have to interact with. Um, we learned that just over the last 12 months, um, the number of people that are using mobile banking only versus even online banking and mobile uh, has increased uh, significantly from like 12% to close to 20% of all online banking users. So that's that alone is telling us more and more people are using mobile only. So we're building a simpler user experience on mobile. Our apps are rated 4.7, 4.8 uh, across uh, all app stores. And it has to do with that, the simplicity of the user experience. But the second thing is adding more intelligence into it. There's a ton of data out there, and everybody talks about big data and data as an asset, um, and yet very little is done, uh, at least in the financial services space. Uh, that's my perspective. And so uh, by taking a specific use case and solving that and containing that scope, I think you can do a lot of great things. One of the things we've done is leverage people's purchasing behaviors to give them targeted offers for those same retailers that they're already, or merchants that they're already uh, doing business with. So now, if I, um, the most, let me give you a very common, common use case. People that are drinking coffee all the time, uh, they were going to drink coffee anyways, but now we're giving them a Starbucks offer uh, or a coffee bean and tea leaf offer uh, so that they can save some money uh, on their next transaction. Um, and if you're not a coffee drinker, then you would never see that because this is targeted based on your purchasing behavior. That's been a huge win, and it's a good example of leveraging the data that is already available to make applications that much more intelligent um, to eliminate this spam of cross-selling offers all over, coming all over the place and hitting consumers, and, and instead giving them something that's very targeted, very relevant, very timely, and useful. That's one well, example. And I love this because Benzinga traditionally had been a capital markets uh, specific type financial media site and as we've moved more into personal finance we find that one of the biggest problems is just simplicity. There's too many things to do or, or too much complication and understanding that hey saving money is the first step to creating more money out of that um, and, and, and through the capital markets. So let's talk about that real quick. The pain points of people saving money, that's a really cool innovation. You know, help me save money on stuff that I'm already uh, um, spending on. Um, one of the things has uh, Digital Insight done with that data and inside the platform, obviously bringing in it, making it easier to access, uh, um, access all of my, my data through my, my mobile phone. Um, what else has the product done and where are you guys going from here? Yeah, so let me give you two examples. One is what I just said, which is uh, we're using that that uh, data that we have on people's transactions um, to give them something that's very targeted, an offer that's going to be beneficial and that's targeted, that's going to put more money back into their pockets the next time that they purchase. So that's helping them save money. And there really is no work that, they, that an end user has to do. They continue to go about business the way they typically do today. Uh, so it's effortless. They use their car the way they were using it before. The only difference is that now at the end of the month, they're getting a lump sum of money deposited back into, the, into their account because of the savings they got from all of those purchases. They don't have to spend more. Um, they don't have to switch uh, to other purchases. Just continue to do the same. Um, and it's all based on using that specific data. Another example, which we, uh, we did a demonstration at Finnovate Spring earlier this year, uh, was, again, using the data on that end user and the fact that they're, they're that we can track their location. So when they go to a car dealership, for example, to purchase a car, we can eliminate the the hassle and the pain of having to go to, to go through that finance department. You can focus on just the exciting aspect of purchasing your car, uh, maybe that dream car that you've been you've been waiting for. Um, and now the financial institution that you bank with can give you a good rate on a loan and offer it to you in that timely moment when you're there at the car dealership. So now you can forget about the uh, the that feeling of I'm just going to to um, get sucked into a bad deal uh, at this at the dealership and get a great deal from this credit union or financial institution that I'm already banking with and it happens because we know that you're there uh, with the intent of purchasing a car and we know that you actually qualify for this great deal because we're using the data to do that so it's timely it's very relevant and it's targeted to you. Uh, it's another great way of helping somebody have a great experience in a moment when the experience could be horrible, as, as most people would explain uh, when it comes to financing a car, as an example. 
Yeah, and we don't talk about this enough, I think, for personal finance. These are the types of tools and resources that, you know, only people that had maybe a financial advisor or had some kind of um, advisor in that space helped them realize, right, to get the right. best rates. We didn't have the time to do all this, um, you know, for the everyday person, average Joe and Jane. So I love looking at the innovation of that, making it easier, giving me better knowledge to save money. Again, whatever's going to increase that, uh, that number in my bank account. Uh, Jose, this is all great stuff. I want you to give us a 30-second elevator pitch to wrap this up on why do you guys, Digital Insight, deserve to win the Benzinga FinTech Awards for innovating this space to help people create wealth? How uh, I, I think uh, we would be a great fit for this award. Uh, going back to, to the beginning of my, my, uh, my conversation with you, we're very much focused on solving that end-user pain point that they may have, the challenges that people are facing on a day-to-day -day basis to save money, to eliminate their debt, but doing so in a way that makes it super easy for them, minimizes the amount of effort they have to do because we can leverage all of the data that is already available flowing through different channels to make our applications that much more intelligent, make the messaging and the experience to that end user much more relevant, much more targeted, uh, and more than anything, much more timely. Think of a proactive system that alerts you and informs you of what you need versus you having to figure out when do I need to go do this? How do I go about doing this? That's the kind of experience that we want to create. Uh, and I think it fits very well with, with the goals of what you guys are trying to, to promote, which is helping, helping folks uh, save more money, uh, have a better financial life. Absolutely, and that's what I love about the whole fintech space as a whole and why we see so much momentum behind it right now. So, Jose, thank you so much for coming on, man, and uh, applying to the awards. More importantly, thank you for all the work you guys are doing at Digital Insights to help us live happier uh, through a better financial future. Thank you, Kyle. Awesome. Cool. Well, again, that's our, our next interview for the Benzinga FinTech Awards. If you do want to go vote for um, uh, Digital Insight, go to BenzingaFinTechAwards.com. Until next time, this is Kyle Bazzi here, and we will see you in the next interview. Take it easy.